Annoy the hell out of your opponent with this glitchy stock play. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. I'm going to be showing you a play that I stumbled onto. I don't know if anybody's ever showed this play before, but this is a very unique play. It is out of the Rams. Single back doubles, and it's the play action jet sweep. And what makes this play so special is the sweep, uh, or the actual sweep, the fake sweep uh, route. That route is not what it looks like on the screen. It actually curves up and goes into, uh, goes uh, vertical down the field, and it causes a huge dilemma as far as covering it. And then it's got awesome, really, really great route combinations on top of it. Now, you can find this play in the Steelers, the Eagles, the Vikings, Bengals, and the Ravens. And once again, it's that single back doubles uh, play action jet sweep, but it's really, really special route. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So once again, single back doubles, and the play we're going to be looking at is going to be the play action jet sweep now i'm going to go against cover twos cover three and cover four then i'm going to... all right so how this play works is the little route underneath which by cooks and that route is where you're going to go ahead and start basically annoying the hell out of your opponent once he comes up you're going to go ahead and drop it down and you're going to get between five and ten yards or more if you make a play with that route with majority of the defenses out there because that route will actually unless he goes underneath coverage he is going to get, go and get under, underneath route uh, underneath yardage and this is going to be what's going to cause a dilemma for you and it should open up everything else for you so let's just go ahead and see if we can hold our blocks and right here we've got the deep post route uh, that we're going to be able to tackle for a one play touchdown opportunity and then you've got basically levels off the left hand side with the running back and the tight end so if we can hold our blocks, we'll see how that this concept right here against cover two is going to be wide open. So pretty much you've got uh, a way to attack them underneath. You've got basically the um, you've got a deep corner route, and then you got the deep post. He's going to have a hard time trying to defend all this stuff. Uh, so it's going to be very, very difficult for him to do that. So it's going to be an opportunity for attack him. So let's go ahead and show you cover three, cover four, then man coverage. So um, once again, if you're running against cover three, hold that trigger, try to take, take control, but watch how you now you've got basically a high-low read with the in and underneath, um, and basically I make my read from there. Uh, so let's watch the underneath route. Nobody falls underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down, force him to go ahead and make that read. So that actually there was pressure coming in, and I got rid of it fairly quick. Once again, nobody's in that area. So we're just going to go drop it down, pick up the easy yards, cause a dilemma against him. And if he's sleeping, you've got the corner route that you can pop him against with that one guy. Now, what's great about this against cover three is that you've got two underneath routes that you can drop the ball down to. So he's got two sides, two flats he's got to defend with this, with this combination. And you've also got this crosser route right there. So I got rid of that a little bit late, but you can see how that opens up. So uh, really, you're still looking, once again, um, to Cooks' route. And if the defender doesn't play it, you're just going to drop it down to him right away and force him to defend the flat. So let's take a look at like a cover four drop and go from there. What about a cover four drop, one of the more popular defenses in the game? Well, once again, you've got the little check downs that you can go to. Uh, this particular cover four drop, because it's a wide set with contained, I think that's what um, Cooks is getting tied up on. Uh, not a lot of people are going to go ahead and have these type of wide sets, uh, but you can see the guy over the middle is wide open. So you've got two flat routes and then one one guy over the middle, and then you've got another guy taking off the top of the cover uh, cover four drop. So uh, he's I don't think you're going to get a one-play touchdown uh, from, from this guy. Well, okay, there you go. So there's your one play touch and opportunity gets cover four drop is that deep post. So if he stops, stays and drop, you can definitely go and tack him up top with that. So let's take a look at palms and then go run into just basic man blitzes. So if he's playing a lot of like cover four palms or cover four uh, quarters, you're going to get a lot of matching principles. And that's going to allow you to go ahead and attack your opponent 
a little bit deeper in the field so it's going to give you an opportunity to do stuff like that so uh, you just want to watch just to see if the coverage is there once again you can go and pop this route underneath that's where the whole this is where the whole play is special is because that route is just unique uh, you're not gonna you don't have players that do these type of routes uh, in the game so your opponent's not gonna be ready for it and if you're picking up what well, I'm picking up seven yards right there on a, on a, on a fast read uh, a, a, play uh, he's gonna have a hard time with it and that's what, what's great about it and then you've got all these great routes um, underneath it um, over the top I've got a crossing route right here that I can get myself a nice uh, one play touchdown off of if I get the matching principles I'm looking for so what's the best way to stop this is actually heavy man uh, pressure so uh, what you want to do is you want to pressure guys uh, so you don't allow uh, a lot of the routes to develop um, and then you know you, you want to basically send six guys uh, probably user the guy in, underneath and this is not going to allow this allow, allow your opponent to be able to get this ball off so if you do run into somebody that, that either mixes man blitzes or uses a lot of heavy man blitzes this is not a play you want to work with you want to obviously go ahead and work with a different play uh, because you're going to get yourself sacked a lot so um, once again, guys, this is a, just a, a, an offensive tip. You run into run guys who run a lot of cover four, cover three, cover two. You can go ahead and just keep running this play until he jumps into some type of man coverage. If it is just basic man coverage, it's good. But if it's, it's got to be heavy man blitzes, and that's going to open up the rest of your scheme. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. And if you like these type of tips, smash that like button, and I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take, it, take your game to the next level. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.